every town has an Elm Street. Potsdam, New York. Founded in 1816 and one of the 50 oldest states, or no, cities, sorry, in the USA. But where we are now is Elm Street. What people don't know is one infamous horror legend taught and resided in Potsdam in the 1960s. And that very famous person is Wes Craven. Wes Craven was a professor at Clarkson University in Potsdam, lived here with his family for years teaching technology. And one day, he went ahead and made a short film. Now the university still is here and we're gonna go ahead and search for it. Before doing so, of course, we had to come and see the infamous Elm Street. This street is filled with fraternity houses, as you can see. And it was said that Wes Craven came up with Nightmare on Elm Street's theme and location on one specific frat house. Unfortunately, that frat house was torn down in 2010. But this is the famous street. Now, he actually has stated that no, it did not come from his teaching years in Potsdam or that fraternity house. But very coincidental that once he went ahead and filmed his first student film or short film, he decided to quit his job and start a career in horror filmmaking. And of course, we know the most famous Nightmare on Elm Street. So this is the very beautiful street. Unfortunately, we're not 100% sure where the old building resided, but it would be somewhere around here. And we are right across the Clarkson University building where we are pretty sure is where he taught. So this is where the fraternity house that they filmed his short film, The Searchers, would have been at. And the building would have looked like this. So, I'm doing some research. There are plenty of new campuses for Clarkson University, but this is one of the older ones. It has been abandoned and it seems to have been or may have been where Wes Craven taught the newer campuses, as you can see, are quite pretty. So he came here from Ohio, had a young family, and said, I guess he said, I got a job opportunity <laughs> to move to Potsdam. Here it is. Sorry if it's windy, but he basically taught technology here. His students really wanted him to start up a film club, so he had. He went ahead and did a student film with his class, and the legend began from that. 
So thank goodness for Potsdam. Thank goodness for that class that begged to have a film club because without them, we would have never had Freddy Krueger and Nightmare on Elm Street. Guys, thanks for exploring with us. This was awesome for me. I hope it's a little bit interesting for you guys. Like, subscribe, and hopefully we'll have more fun content to come. All right, update. So we did go searching around and we actually spoke to the fire department in Potsdam and it was confirmed that the fraternity house that was torn down was actually rebuilt into the Potsdam town hall. And this spot was actually established in 1806 but they had torn down that house and rebuilt the new town hall so we actually found the location where mr craven recorded his short film and there's another fraternity house right next door so guys, you heard it here. Boom. Like, subscribe. We love you. Comment anytime.